So welcome to my chat GPT-4 and Canva design tutorial here where I'm going to show you how to bulk create some social media posts, whether it's for Twitter, whether it's for Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, whatever it's going to be. And given the fact we have our new and upgraded chat GPT-4, I wanted to see what we could do with this. So you will need some chat GPT-4 and of course you will need Canva. For this, I'm going to be using, I have Canva Pro and I'm going to be using some of the better templates, but you can always test them out and use some of their non-pro templates. I will leave a link down below. They do come with a free plan and of course free trial if you want to go deeper than that. So first things first, here's the first step. I need you to create 25 short Twitter inspirational messages or quotes that are under 250 characters long. So put max amount of characters in the tweet. If this is correct, it says 280, but I wanted to be a little bit shorter. So I just went with 250. Let's have that go. Because as we know, uh, chat GPT-4 is going to be a little bit slower compared to the 3.5 versions, but it is much better at understanding, recognizing, and acknowledging what we're going to be putting here, like the fact that well, it's not only 25, but under 250 characters long. And for some odd reason, you know, if it can't do 25 all in one shot, we can just continue on with that. So with that being said, I'm going to pause this and I will see you in the future in about one or two seconds. All right, pretty cool. And I'm not going to like go through and read all of these, but what we want to do is I'm going to highlight them. I'm going to copy it for me. It's control C, depending on if you're using a, a Mac or not or whatever you're using, right? So I'm going to paste those in there. And I don't know if I want the emojis in there. I'm not sure if they're going to come out great. So what I'm going to do is just delete them. Uh, I'm not going to make you watch that, but I'll do that now. Okay, now that that's done, I'm just going to highlight them all and copy them because we're going to need them eventually in Canva. So over on in Canva, what I did is this search for an Instagram quote, and I came up with this one. I like this one, so this is the one I'm going to use. And I did forget to mention, uh, Canva does come with a free plan, but to utilize their bulk create, that does require one of the paid plans. It does come with a free trial, so you can at least test it out. I want to make that 100% clear. It's probably one of their most popular features, probably why it's on the pro plan. But here we are with this. So what I want to do is just do, you know, marketing island. I don't have Twitter. Sorry. Okay, and obviously this would be where, you know, whatever you have here. Let's quickly change this. Let's go to pictures, uploads. I do have some pictures. Let's utilize this one. I'll drag it in. Just doing this very quickly. And we can have our quotes down here, quotes, uh, hashtags down here. Our quote will be up here. So here's how we actually do the process. So what we want to do is go to apps. Normally what you want to do is search for bulk. I already have it right here. It's probably going to say it's not there because I already have it. So if you have used it, it'll probably go down here. So bulk create is what we're looking for. Oops, let's go back here. I was testing this out before. Okay, so what we want to do is enter data manually. For some odd reason, every time I open this up, it makes me sound like a chipmunk. It fast forwards through all of it. All we're doing is going to be pasting this in the first column. And if there's any other columns, I'm going to delete it. So uh, what I want to do is I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you, but I'm not going to talk over it because it always makes it sound, you know, really fuzzy, funny and fast forwardy. So allow me to do that and you can follow along. Okay. And just like that, what I did is just paste everything in there and it automatically creates a new section for each one of the quotes, which is pretty cool, right? So now that we have that, what we want to do is right click an element in your page to connect it to your data below. This is going to be where the quotes are going to go. So let's right click, let's connect data and name is just what it happened to be. So let's put that there. And we do have some hashtags here. So what we can also do is just delete these if we want, because we are going to be having a hashtag in there. So we can either keep that or remove it for this. I'm just going to remove it. And of course we have our background image. This is the one that came with it. This is gonna be up to you, obviously. Uh, I did uploads. I do have some here. I put one of, uh, in case you were wondering, I went to uh, Unsplash and just looked for Queenstown. I have been there before. It is so beautiful. I can't get enough of this picture. I took a few myself, but since this one was online, you know, if you want to use that as a background, something like that. Looks pretty good. It pops pretty nicely, especially with the blue. Let's try like the marketing island one. <laughs> that does not work very well just because it covers the island. Here was another one I used in a different you know, if you want to use a picture of you, it's clearly covering that person and just, you know, examples like that, but that looks pretty good. So let's go back to bulk create. So we did that. Let's click on continue. And these are going to be all the ones that we're doing. So what it's going to do is pretty much almost instantly, it'll take a little time, but it'll generate 25 pages where everything here will be the same, except the quote will be different for each new page. So let's click on generate 25 pages. 
And just like that, we have 25 different social media posts that we can use for Twitter. We can use for Instagram, you know, Pinterest, if you want. It really depends on where you're going to be putting it. Obviously, you know, you can change that around. But just to show you, we have our hashtags. And you'll notice, remember, I said do them so it's not, you know, too long. And that's good. That's something you want to do, especially for, say, actually, it doesn't matter if you're going to be pasting it as a picture. But I didn't want it to be too long where you have this quote that just goes all the way down here. Could probably do a little bit more just to give you a bit, a bit more room and flexibility. But that's the good thing about chat GPT-4 is it's going to allow you to really be um, particular to how many characters you want to use totally. And just kind of scrolling down, you're going to see the same thing, different quotes. And just like that, and of course, when you want to save them, you can go to share, you can go to download and then go from there. And that's pretty much going to be it. That's going to be the tutorial when it comes to utilizing chat GPT-4 and of course, Canva when it comes to bolt create. So that's going to be up to you if you want to change around anything else there, add to it, delete it. But that's the overall process. I hope you could follow along easily enough. If there was anything I missed, please leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.